car like the new Ventador Roadster, which costs £288,000 and has 690 horsepower. I don't know, maybe one of the best ways is to bring it to Miami and let loose in it around the circuit like this. One of the things Lamborghini is most chuffed about with this car, with the transformation from coupe to roadster, is the fact that it's almost as stiff as the coupe and it's almost as light as the coupe. You gain 50 kilograms of stiffness, but says Lamborghini, this car is absolutely as fast as the coupe around the Nardo outer handling circuit. And you can believe it because on the road, it does feel beautifully stiff, beautifully planted, fundamentally a very, very car, which is just as well, quite frankly, when you've got a 690 horsepower V12 back there waiting to overtake you at the merest hint of a lifted throttle in the wrong place in the middle of a corner. Having said that, so long as you've got a bit of space to play with it, and so long as, I don't know, let's say your bravery matches your ambition, you can actually throw this thing around and have quite good fun in it. It is fundamentally well balanced. I mean, watch, there's no way you could do this otherwise. What is absolutely at the heart of this car though, as with every Lamborghini, it's the engine. And it is just a, a maniac of an engine. It sounds bonkers when you let rip in it over the last two or 3,000 revs. And okay, there's another 50 kilograms, but this car is still mentally fast in a straight line. <laughs> Listen to this. When you really start to lean on it through a corner, particularly a quick corner, it does understeer, there is no question. But they've kind of designed that in. They could make this a new handling car. It has to just push on a little bit at the front. Otherwise, you know, with all due respect to your average Lamborghini owner, but people would just go backwards through hedges and walls and town centres, basically, in this car, if it was neutral. And if it was oversteery, I think they'd get sued. I'm not sure about the gear change. It isn't a double clutch. Lamborghini say they don't want a double clutch because it weighs too much and because they want the simplicity and the immediacy of response of this single clutch. But don't believe them. If they could have a double clutch, they would have a double clutch in this car like a shot and the gear change would be better. As it is, it's okay. But I just wish they'd tone the software down a bit in the most aggressive mode because it basically feels if somebody nutting you in the back of the head every time you upshift and it's just not very pleasant. The Aventador Roadster is not everyone's cup of tea. It's not meant to be everyone's cup of tea, but I just love it, I really do. No, it's not as quick as an F12 and yes, it feels a bit heavy and cumbersome when you really start to chuck it about, but the noise it makes, the performance it has, and the way it turns heads, even in a place like Miami, you just can't knock it. There is nothing quite like this car, and I love Lamborghini for making it. So I've driven it a fair bit on the road as well now, the Aventador Roadster, and um, it's pretty good actually. I mean, it's still very stiff. You've got 21 inch wheels and tyres at the back and 20 inch tyres at the front with 355 25 21 inch rear tyres so I mean inevitably the ride is just never going to be that good but look you don't buy a car like this expecting it to ride like a limousine do you but the thing is it actually doesn't ride too badly okay these roads are beautifully smooth it's kind of difficult to tell but when you run over a cat's eye here even which you can probably just just here, you can hear more than you can feel. There is actually some nice damping, which 
he's good and he's welcome and he's how it should be. The refinement on the move is pretty good with the roof down. They reckon that the top speed <laughs> of 355 kilometers an hour, I think, which is 210, something like that, something completely mental. It'll do it roof up or roof down, which is quite cool. 210 miles an hour, the roof down. I like that. Away from the track, the steering feels quite heavy. I think there's more precision to this than there is in the coupe, and Lamborghini say that is the case. And it's because of these new tyres, they reckon they've got a little bit more bite, that much more precision, um, particularly when on turning, uh, which you do notice on the move. There's not too much buffeting either. The old Murcielago Roadster was a bit of a shambles, to be quite honest, when it came to wind refinement. But they've, they've really worked hard on this. It's a proper job. It's not just an Aventador without a roof. They've, they've really thought about the aerodynamics of the cabin and it works. It's, it's a pretty relaxing thing to spend some time in on the road until you do this. And then it just turns into a complete animal. 